Bernardo, talk us through last week and scoring in front of the Red Army. How must that, how did that feel for you? Yeah, I mean, it was an incredible feeling, you know, scoring in front of the, the home fans, you know, something that every kid in Adelaide dreams of, you know. As soon as the ball went in, she started celebrating. Yeah, it was good. And especially with your father in the stands as well, because that package was a bit extra special. <laughs> yeah, it did. Um, him in the stands, like, you know, it's just... It's, you know, I used to watch him play and then now me scoring and then him watching me, it's like how times change, you know, it's, uh, it's good. Yeah. What's, what's the best piece of advice you've given him? Uh, you know, he always tells me to just work hard as much as I can um, and yeah, that's it. What did he say after the game as well? Did he say, not as good as some of mine here? Or? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he always says that, you know, he always has to be the best at everything, but nah, he, he gave me praise for the game, you know, I think it was a a good individual game by me and also scoring, you know, nothing beats that. Goal's a goal. Sorry to interrupt. How are you feeling sort of in terms of you seem to have found a role in this team this year? How, how do you feel you progress throughout the season? I feel like I'm progressing pretty well on the team, you know, it's my first professional uh, year as a footballer. Um, and yeah, uh, the team helps me obviously, like the culture, uh, Carl, like the coaches, everyone helps me. So it's just been easy for me to just uh, adjust and get into the environment. Do you think sort of the man person sort of led you or give you, if you had like a mentor or someone to sort of guide you throughout the year? Yeah, I have. Um, Ross, uh, the ex-assistant coach, he played a big part, especially in this uh, year for me. He always on my front foot, telling me what to do, telling me what's good, what's not. And then obviously hearing stuff like that helps me as a footballer, so. Well, what's, what's been like, I mean, you touched on this before, but adjusting to life as a professional football, has it been easy for you? To be honest, it, it just feels like normal to me because I've already lived in that environment with my dad uh, being a footballer, so I know what it's like. It's nothing uh, different for me. Always traveling, uh, uh, preparing for games, trainings. It's just something that comes natural, I guess. Um, and in terms of the season, building nicely, you guys have been such a tough season to follow with everything, with disruptions and everything, but you guys must be confident you can achieve something pretty special this year. Yeah, uh, we're, we're pretty confident as a team, you know. Us as a team, we're, we're, we're very close. We have a good bond in the team, which uh, shows in these games, you know, scoring like last minute, winning games, fighting till the end. Um, we're feeling pretty confident. But how open is the competition? Pardon me, what was How that? open is the competition in terms of, I mean, it doesn't seem like there's, compared to previous years, a genuine front runner. There must be there's a bunch of teams who be probably sitting in the same category. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, obviously this year it's been, um, bit different because of uh, short turnarounds and obviously the teams being very equal but you know the the front half of the table was it's a it's a good battle you know for us we always got to be on our front foot. And what's it like being in this team with so many young players like I know you're 18 but you're probably one of the older players sometimes on the park it yeah. must be you play with these guys a lot and beforehand as well and is it something sort of that you guys are used to as well? Yeah I mean um yeah, we, we just we have that culture of you know bringing up young players, which is good. You know, uh, players like Nesta, uh, Alex Popovich as well. Uh, I've just known them for ages, and it's just uh, you build that bond in the team. And even if they're on the pitch, being young or not, we all have that trust in each other that we're, we're there to do the job. It's been something that Carl's done throughout the year, promoted and giving you guys a license to thrill. Is it something that makes your job easier, knowing that you've got a coach and a staff that backs you up? Yeah, of course. I mean, Carl. Uh, I've known Carl since junior days. He's always helped me as a coach. You know, he, he has the belief in us young players to, to if we need to do the job, then we'll do it. Do you guys have like a bit of a swagger? Just, <laughs> I mean, just like when I was 18, I was in uni, but like you and like Nesta and Alex, <laughs> well, you guys are teenagers in the top flight in Australian football. It must be surreal, but also you guys must clearly have a lot of confidence to be able to go out and do what you guys do. Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, myself, I, I just I tend to just want to do my job, you know, um, just focus on football, uh, train hard, work hard, uh, play well, you know, win games for the team. That's, that's what we do, you know, S uh, swagger or not. Um, some of us do have it, some of us maybe not, but yeah. Who's probably got the most? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say Mohamed Toure. Yeah, he's, he, he, that kid, he's the funniest kid, but yeah. What's, what's Nesta like? Can you give us some insight into his personality? Oh, he's, a, he's a goofy kid, you know. I'll, a team player you need, someone that is different to the group, you know, he's always making us laugh. But at the end of the day, he's a footballer he is, so he gets the job done, he scores. Yeah. What are you expecting against Brisbane this weekend? Um, it's going to be a tough game, obviously. 
it's something that we're preparing for because it's not going to be easy. Brisbane are a good side. Um, and yeah, it's a game that we need to win. Otherwise, um, it does put our chances down. But if we keep winning and with the way we are in form, then we can go as far as possible. Uh, so yeah, responding to Carlos saying you were a bit flat last week. Yeah, so we have been working hard in training, you know, um, fixing the things that we thought we weren't as good as. And uh, he's just, we've been working hard, yeah. <laughs> That's it. What's it like after a game like that where, I mean, it sort of felt like you dominated, but whatever reason, sometimes it happens, but you're still in the shot right uh, up to the end? Yeah, um, they happens, you know, it's football. Sometimes we can, dominate the game and then the opposition team gets a chance, they score and then things change but we obviously want to be on, on our front foot the whole game, uh, keep possession, um, be in control of it because that's how you know, we win as a team, we play well.